Well, how's it going, YouTube? Well, we're at the Upper Canada 2 Cylinder Club John Deere show. This is the 25th anniversary of this show. I think this is my fourth or fifth year going, I think fourth year at the show. But we've got a little uh, model display up there. I'll take you in there and uh, show you around that a little bit. But um, got to use the GoPro because apparently I forgot to put the uh, memory card back in the other Canon camera. Now, I'm going to be here most of the weekend, but. Uh, by the time I get back to upload this for you, it'll probably be Sunday evening, but um, I'm supposed to be helping out with the tractor pull tonight. This is Friday evening, by the way, so um, yeah, that'll be all right. I think I'm going to be part of the uh, track crew, so anyway, hopefully the GoPro doesn't die on me here. Like we're, uh, our camera equipment's kind of tired, I guess, from the big Farmersville show. Hey, there goes goes now. 70, 77 all the Anyway, hopefully uh, we can get you guys lots of footage, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. The John Deere 70. I'm not sure that is there in the background. I don't know if that's a cotton harvester. I'm not sure what that is, but pretty neat looking. I need if someone would make a model out of that. Hit double hint. Well, let's go for a little uh, tour of the show here before... Uh, Tractor pull starts, and while I've still got some camera battery left. 3130. I tried to make a model of one of these one time, but I think I might do a 16. 16 skill. 55 Massey. Massey 30. 102 twin power. W6 and Oliver over there. Nice big long row of John Deere tractors here. Five fifty-five here. That might make for a nice little model to make for uh, a YouTube series. Little 10, 10, 20, 10, 30, 20. How you doing? Well, might better get these masks in here since I can't remember if I mentioned it or not. The mask of Harris is the feature here this year, but uh, I don't know now. Little pony, 333, 55 diesel, 44 standard. These are nice. This guy, I think I mentioned before, the guy in Beaverton's got one of those for sale. Farm on C. Little Ferguson. And my other sickle bar. That's nice. <laughs> Five thirty is nice. A little AR styled. A friend of mine, Keith Dunn, used to have one of those. Fender extension, that's nice. Unstyled AR. A little bit of extra chrome on the John Deere. There's a nice old, old umbrella. Wonder how old that is. BR, AR, 430. They're all here. Five mass, red one. <laughs> now we're back up to twenty-five fifty-five. Got mixed up in my rows here. Seen a red tractor. We got confused. <laughs> oh, I see this. Big fifty twenty up here. That's cleaned up real nice. The John Deere sixty standard down here. I kind of wanted to get a picture of. Basically replaced the AR. That's kind of a unique tractor. Nice three bottom plow. Big 
Tony John Deere D720. I think the only model I haven't seen yet is an 830 and the Spoker D, but I think pretty much it's one of everything here. Oh, there's a nice combine. John Deere 30 combine. There you go, check that out. I haven't seen too many of those. Little John Deere H. BR. There's an 80. 4020. Little John Deere style B. 730 wide front. They just got a fantastic lineup of tractors here this year. Of course, it's the 25th year, so I, I would expect nonetheless. 520 AR style, that's nice. 4620, I think I've seen that before. Another big 5020. Hopefully, it's coming through all right there. Oh, there's an 830. Twenty, big sixty thirty, two six thirty wheatlands. I mean, wheatlands are standard. They might be the same thing. I'm not sure. I don't remember right now. Oh, there's another John Deere sixty there with a little bit of extra chrome on it. This eighty six thirty over here looks a little bit different than uh, what my cousin's got. I just can't quite figure out what it is just yet. I don't know if it's had a motor transplant or what's going on. It looks different than the one my cousin Will's got in the farm there. Can't just quite figure out what it is. Nice 70 20 there. That looks to be original. John Deere 40 Combine. I think we had. Was it a 40 or the 45? They've got a 45 way back in the day. Beautiful 4020 here. John Deere 70. Here's a 3020 with a canopy. Very nice. Got a John Deere 50 down the line here. Spreader here. I remember there's a little message back here. Oh, not on this one. There's one I had a little message written on the back, but I wanted to go get it for you guys for a, for a little clip for a movie. I'm trying to just figure out. Just figure it out down here. There's that. Uh, I, like I said, I believe it's a cotton harvester. I don't see a sign on it or not 425 John Deere diesel I would guess it would be for cotton that's a cotton dump box so oh, here's this uh, this spreader I wanted to show you guys right quick here there's a great great bunch of lineup I thought this is kind of interesting. John Deere stands behind all their machines except the shit spreader. Well, ain't that the truth? <laughs> 880 Oliver over there getting weighed in. We've got another line of tractors over here that I have to take a little look at. We've got a little 3020 over here. We've got a John Deere 60. We've got a 320. That would be too hard to clean up. Those does not that bad. Got a 4020 owned by my friend Mark Bewick. But you see here though, you see what's wrong with that wheel? You got IH wheels on that. <laughs> well, we got a little, or wheel weights rather. We got a little MC crawler here, 530. Another 830. Styled A. John Deere 520. 
Uh, John Deere 420. What do you think? John Deere 620. There's an old Model D there. It's not a spoker, but what year is that? I don't know what year that would be. I'd have, have to look. Model H. Model B. Model G. Uncle Herb used to have one of those. John Deere BR. Beautiful 730 with some extra chrome. Got one with a John Deere MT with a loader on it. Model 30 loader. I always thought that was a farmhand loader for a minute, but it's uh, a John Deere loader. Got an LA 820 with a nice big set of tires on the back of that. This is 620 75 R26. Well, there you go. Nice little uh, GP. Now, here's how you watch a tractor pull. I didn't bring the GoPro mount, but uh, we're in a brand new Master Ferguson tractor. There's only 14 hours on it, but here's the view from the driver's seat. I want to thank Mark Buick for the opportunity to do this. All right, we're starting to get dark now. There's a massive 55 diesel starting to pull here. I'm gonna try to get you guys a little bit of YouTube clips here. I wish I didn't forget that little GoPro case in the truck. iPhone video. Pretty good crowd here tonight. There's some more over here. Some people took off, but uh, well, that's the way it goes sometimes. Some people don't like to stay around too late. And me personally, I just stick around and kind of watch the bigger tractors, but uh, I guess it's drive time. You can hear that, uh, I think it's a 720 standard just hammering away there. It's getting kind of dark, but uh, she comes right here for you guys. I wanted to get a video of this. It's a John Deere 840 scraper in a tractor pull. That's uh, quite different. It's pretty sweet, actually. Now, basically, what all it is is a John Deere 830 engine with a scraper behind it. So, that's pretty friggin' neat. Alright, good morning. Well, this is uh, Saturday morning here after the night after the tractor pull. This is our. Uh, rig we were driving last night 6713 Massey Ferguson and of course the Packer this tractor is absolutely brand spanking new I couldn't tell you how many hours are on it but uh, it goes in miles now there is I think 12.3 miles on it last night when I hopped on it it's got uh, I think 28.7 now I think so not uh, quite a few miles driving around in circles, but I mean, hey, the track looks nice though. We cleaned it all up there last night after the big pull got done. Got done pulling around uh, about 10 o'clock and uh, didn't get too many video clips because I got a, I was busy driving, so that's all right. I might try to get some more today sometime. All right, well, we're just uh, sitting in the truck here having a little snack break but uh, I want to say thank you to Mark Bewick here once again he um, has a little donation for our greatest farm toy collection YouTube which you guys know is a little toy collection I started out of uh, viewer mail Mark tells me I need some uh, bluey blue equipment for my for my collection so Mark picked this up for us it's a New Holland BR7090 round baler Hopefully it's coming through all right on the GoPro. Still a little bit cloudy yet, so I don't have the best lighting. But check out the detail on that. That's freaking sweet. Then we've got a uh, P1000 
367 Peterbilt and a New Holland T7030 tractor on it. Those are friggin' sweet. And I want to thank Mark here once again. Thank you very much. We'll uh, put those on on display back in the homestead there, and then uh, I'll give you guys a little uh, collection update, I guess, when uh, when we get back home. Well, we made it back home. I uh, left about 2.30 from Grand Valley there. It was a pretty good trip home. Uh, didn't get any rain or anything on the way back, so that was good. But anyway, I got uh, Mark's equipment up here on our greatest farm toy collection on YouTube shelf here. Coming along just sweet. A little bit of everything. A little bit of deer. Got an Oliver. The Case IH from Tennessee. And some New Holland. Oh, I gotta get the toys put away here and uh, catch up on some housework and whatnot. And then it's uh, back to work for me tomorrow. So, uh, it's the end of my holidays. But I got one more week coming up. Probably uh, end of August or September. I'm probably gonna book that. So, anyway, if you guys like sheep, please comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.